I did say if I was ever on Grinder, my uh, thing would be call me pepperoni because I'm on top. And you were on Grinder. <laughs> we, you were too. <laughs> yeah, I was under Evan's name and Evan was under mine. Yeah, there's three people in a group chat. I had to be included. <laughs> Dude, that was hell. We put that manager through hell for that day. Yeah. We. <laughs> so the background story is, uh, we got a new manager when we worked at Chuck E. Cheese. And uh, we all made grinder accounts under each other's names. And we were showing the messages and putting, like, sending them in this group chat with our new manager that started that day. Yeah, it was just funny. So. It was hilarious. I can't believe we didn't get in any trouble for that. <laughs> it was before the social justice warriors. It, I don't even think that played any part of it. It just probably made her feel super uncomfortable. <laughs> there were three new coworkers that are just sitting in. I want you to stuff my ass to Man, Man, what a time to be alive. I remember I told that dude he looked like a broke man's Brett Favre, and he yeah. sent me a giant picture of his meat. He was hung. Dude, there's some hung people in this world. <laughs> that guy was one of them for sure. This dude I worked with was a homosexual, and he let me on his grinder. Yeah. Dude. A lot of hung men were sending him pictures. Dude, I love... Dude, No, it's straight to the point, you know? I just kept uh, telling people, send me a dick pic or else you're an anti-Semite. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot. I remember I told that one dude your actual address and told him to shove everything, including the kitchen sink up yeah. your ass. I would just give out your address. I tweeted it once. Yeah, I, I gave out your address a lot. <laughs> Pretty much every guy I matched with on that app, I told to go to your house. And nobody did. Yeah. They're all talk. Yeah, they were all talk. Yeah.